Hi! In this episode we'll set up the Angular front-end application with the help of Yeoman. But first, let's talk about two ways to develop application. The first one is to make Angular application as the part of Rails assets pipeline. This way we can create hybrid application which makes the transition much easier. So, for example, we can implement most of the application as the classic Rails application and only the most interactive parts deliver as Angular application. But in this course we'll see how to develop front-end and back-end as much independently as possible, so Rails application will serve as API. So, let's get rolling. First, we need to have Yeoman installed. For that, we also need to install Node.js. So for that, you can go to Node.js.org website and install it from here, or to install it via Homebrew with brew install Node.js. Now that we have Node.js installed, let's install Yeoman with npm install globally yo. That will download a lot of packages and install Yeoman to our system. OK, nice. Now also we need Angular generator, so let's install it either with npm install globally generator Angular. Like this. OK, so now we're ready to bootstrap our application. So here let's create folder for our project and we call it SW front and let's cd into it. And right here let's generate your Angular. It will ask us uh, several questions. So first of all, do we want to anonymously report user statistics? Yes, why not? So now we won't be using Compass, but we will use Twitter Bootstrap. And also we will I use all these resources as well. OK, our project is ready. So let's have a look. And let's create a Git repository. We initialize it, we add everything to it, and we make our first initial commit. Like this. OK, so let's have a look at this project. So right here we have several hidden files, like git ignore and git and so on and Travis. And the first file is grunt file. And this file is responsible for different tasks like running server or running karma test, etc. We'll look into it, but even now we'll do one thing. So let's open it. And right here in watch section, here you can see that grunt watches for different kind of files for changes. And when they are changed, it runs specific tasks. So this one right here JavaScript hint is quite time consuming, so I prefer to get rid of it. I prefer to run it by myself separately, but not after every file save. So I'm gonna just comment this out and add tasks as an empty array here. And the same thing I will do for tests, and here you can see that uh, it also runs Karma. I personally, again, prefer not to run Karma and just to run Karma as a separate process. OK, and I'm going to save this file. Also, we have this bower.json file, and here are listed all dependencies like Angular, JSON, 3, etc. So if we need something else, we simply add it here and run npm install to fetch it. So also we have the Karma configurations that we're going to look a little bit later, and package.json file where we have all development environment uh, dependency like run packages and as you guessed if we need something we just add it here. We have several folders. First of all that's the app folder and test folder where the application resides and tests resides. Node modules has all these node modules which are listed in package.json. So let's have a look in application folder. Here we have bar components, that's all the dependencies that we have like Angular, jQuery, etc. We have phones, images, uh, styles, pretty standard stuff. So our application resides in scripts folder and in views. And of course the bootstrap is index.html file. So let's have a look. Here we have the standard HTML5 file with different conditionals for our favorite Internet Explorer. We have some meta tags, then we have here the uh, bootstrap.css file included for us and our main.css where we can style our application as well. And right here on the body tag we have our AngularJS application initialized and it is called 
SW front app. Okay, so next we have this div with class container, but what is more important is this ng view. So here is where all views are rendered. So as you can see, Yeoman sets us up for developing with routes right away. So next we have some Google Analytic code, and then we have the bar dependencies included right here, and then our own scripts like application and main.js for controller. So let's have a look at them. So let's go to app.js. So here where we define our Angular application with angular.module and we name it SW front app and then we inject four Angular modules and after that right here we have the config block where we set routes. For now there is only one rule for root route and it will render template URL which resides in views slash main.html and the controller. Also we have here the otherwise so any other route will be redirected to root route. So pretty standard stuff that just was generated or bootstrapped for us. So let's have a look at this main.html file. So here we have this simple static HTML page without anything much of an interest. Okay, then the next thing is main controller. So let's open it, main.js in controllers folder. So and here on the module we define controller, main controller, and just define array variable on the scope with these three values. But if we go back to main.html, you'll see that and scroll through it and see what it is consists of, you'll see that this variable is not used here. So let's fix it and try to use it just to make sure that everything works together fine. So for that we will define unordered list and here we will have list item with ng repeat and here we define that this thin in awesome things and we're just gonna type this thing out on the screen. Let's save it. Now let's go back to terminal and run server. So grunt gives us server and we can run it with grunt serve. And here we have our page and here we have our list items, so they are rendered successfully. Other from that, this page has nothing at all here, so links doesn't work, um, but we have pretty face, that's good. So another cool thing that Grunt gives us is leave reload feature. So now if I just make it like this and change something like contact for hello, and save this file, you will see that page is automatically reloaded and you can see the change right here. How cool is that? Also, you probably heard that Angular is in good relationships with testing and that's no lie, so let's have a look. So here we have test folder and inside of it uh, we have spec folder, controllers and main.js created for us. So this is a basic controller test. And this is quite common what happens here. So first we get our application, our module. Then right here we inject independencies. So we inject controller and we instantiate this controller. And then we write in our examples. We'll see in a little bit more details about testing later in the course. But now let's just have a look how it works. Let's open karma.conf file. That's where the configuration for Karma are stored. And you can see here that we use the base path and framework Jasmine and then we require files like Angular, Angular Mocks and all the resources and all the application actually. Then we have port, etc. But what I want here is I want to set this auto watch to true. And that simply means that it will behave itself like leave reload. So every time I change some files for tests, the test will be rerun, and that's cool. And here we have the browser and the single run set to false. So now let's go to terminal and run karma start. And it will start Chrome at the background, and you can see that it fires tests, and 
they are green. So let's have a look how we can fail them. So I go back to the test and let's change 3 to 4 and save it. And if you go to terminal, we'll see that tests have been run already and we are failing. That's cool. So let's go back and fix it back. Green color is much nicer. Okay, nice. So we have everything wired up by Yeoman. We have Live Reload Server and Karma Tests Runner all set up and ready to go. In the next episode, we'll set up Rails application and connect these two apps via proxy. So thank you very much for your time and see you in the next episode.